Let's talk about uh, tier 10 clan battles and ships that I think are going to be good and ships that, uh, you know, I would, I would definitely recommend having a captain available and all that good stuff. So, from uh, the destroyers, I can see Hargumo. Oh, cool, Gary. Uh, I can see Hargumo uh, if you're going to run the unique upgrade, which uh, gives you this big smoke snail that you can do. So I could totally see, uh, I could totally see that. Um, but beyond that, Hargumo I don't think brings a lot of functionality. Uh, it's a, it's kind of like a Wooster with the with the spammy guns and stuff like that. So there's that. Um, Grozavoy, if you're not sure what you're going to encounter, is a very good utility destroyer. So I would say that's a good pick. Um, but generally speaking, uh, for clan battles, you want uh, ships that are going to bring something special to the table. Vampire Deuce is a weird one because it's got that crawling smoke. I can see that in randoms. I just can't see it in a, co in a, in a uh, clan battle situation because y you're most likely going to be the only thing out there spotting is Destroyer. So I just don't see that you're going to be able to use your creeping smoke that well. Uh, Smallland, strong pick, great pick. It's got radar. Uh, it's got torpedoes, guns. It's got a heal. I mean... There's nothing to not like about a small end. I think that I think that'll be a, a very strong choice. Holland as well, although Holland, uh, if I remember right, does not have as good concealment. Uh, the big thing about Holland is you're luck chucking torps into uh, in, into um, like choke points and stuff like that. So I, I think that's what I would go for there. Um, moving right along, Z52. I always always liked. So, uh, Holland has slightly better concealment than Smallland. Thank you very much. I, I can't off the top of my head always remember all the numbers. Um, Z-52 is a fun ship. It's got the, uh, it's got the Hydro um, to lock down a cap. Um, that being said, Radar is king in clan battles, especially without, um, especially without uh, aircraft to spot. So I kind of feel like Z-52 might not be as good of a pick uh, compared to like a Holland uh, or small end that has heal. Even Grozovoy's got a heal, right? Um, Shimakaze, it's got it's got the it's got the concealment. And that's about it. So I don't see Shimakaze being used that much. Obviously, if you've got a prodigy Shimakaze player, player prodigy Shimakaze player. Elbing, no. Um, for for similar thing. Uh, similar reasons, I think you're just going to be, you're not going to be able to use your smoke and shoot as much out of that smoke. Uh, so I, I'm not sure that that's going to be useful. Uh, just that, a reminder, yes? What's that camo on Z52? I don't remember the name nor the icon. Somebody asked. I'll go to it when the computer decides to let me. Uh, it's the Blue Aster camouflage from the uh, space mm, events. Nice. Yep. Nice. Yep. All right. Um, so that that's that one. But anyways, for Elbing, I just don't think you're going to be in many positions to use your AP and all that against cruisers. Because, uh, again, you need somebody else to, to spot for you. Got another donation coming in. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Yu Yang, if you're going to do Yu Yang, it's got some utility here. You could run smoke um, and smoke up your friends and spot for them while they shoot. Uh, it's got short duration, quick return heal or smoke, so that's kind of nice. You could also run it with radar, although if you're going to run a radar Yu Yang, I'd rather just run a small end. Uh, so there you go. Clay Bear, I think it's only strong. Same thing with the uh, Marceau is only strong in large packs. So you're talking about going all in with a three or four clay bear comp. You can try it. You I don't cannot. know that. So you cannot repeat ships this time. Really? I think so. Probably on a dev blog out there. Let's take let's take a look. Um... Let's... It's there somewhere. <laughs> Let's take a look. Hold on a sec. Here's our stuff here. Restrictions. No carriers. No more than two battleships per team. No more than three mercenaries per team. No. Okay. You cannot have two identical ships. Yeah. There it is. Yep. Yep. 
Sorry guys, this this got released like this morning. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's always good it's to plan. It's on devlog. It was on devlog. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as a result, that means you're not going to really see... I don't think you're going to see clay bears much at all. Um, because, I mean, they, they could... You could have one clay bear go with a Marceau, but even then I just... I, I don't I don't see it. I don't see it. Ragnar is ridiculous. A fantastic pick for for uh, clan battles. It's got the heal, it's got the radar again, so just like the small end, I think it's a it's a very strong pick. Druid. Druid is interesting because it just sits bow in or bow on and you know shoots with AP and that that's basically its main gimmick. Uh, I don't think a druid is a good pick. Um, You'll see players make it work. I just don't see it. Uh, Summers, always a good pick. It's just the American Shimakaze with American Smoke. Torpedoes has got terrible anti-air, but you don't care because there's no carriers to deal with. So I think that is a fine choice. Hayate, please no. Marceau I talked about. Gearing, torpedoes, like Summers, but I, I think Summers gives you a little bit more uh, in Torp Reload, if I remember right. Gearing Why? has that uh, big smoke yep. paired with a Desmoing booster, yep. so it's really well. So why not Hayate? Similar vein to Grozevoy, it's kind of a generalist chip. You can choose between the smoke generator, torpedo reload booster. Um, I just, I mean, some people are going to make it work, but if you're going to play Hayate, I'd, I'd rather see you play a Holland or just about any other destroyer out there. I just, I just don't see that it has enough you know what i mean um so th i just don't think that i don't think that it does anything really well um to the point where i'd be like oh gotta bring a hayate today you know it just i just don't see it um but of course you know if, if you've got a different opinion then then you're you might as you're, you're welcome to share it but i don't think so Habarovsk. Okay, so if you if you wanted to do a discount uh, destroyer rush meme comp, you could do it. You could do a Haba uh, with a Clever with a Marceau and, and do ridiculous things. But I just I just don't see Havrask being a very useful um, useful choice. So. Yeah, Hargoma I just said you're you're bringing along for the smoke for utility and that's it. If you've got the um, unique and that's it. So. All right, moving right along. That takes care of our destroyers. I want to try to keep this uh, Zaf chat a little brief here. So let's talk about the cruisers and there are so many cruisers available. Um, Golden Lion. The only the only thing that's nice about Golden Lion is you've got the ability to bomb things with your airstrike if it's a very static meta. So go back to that Zat chat about um, Land of Fire and the ability to take out ships that are just sitting still is very strong. Now that being said, the ship itself is pretty meh, so I don't know that I would be all over running a Golden Lion. Austin, Austin, if you want to just immediately kill a destroyer but it requires so much to get it in position to do that you need to have another smoke there's a whole lot of there's a whole lot of uh coordination that's required to make it work and i just i just can't see it i just can't see it hindenburg is one of those ships um similar to a goliath you just kind of sit in the back and farm it at max range It'll be okay, but it's it's. I don't know that it's going to be something that's going to you're going to want to pick uh, automatically. It'll be fine, uh, just not super fantastic in my opinion. Plymouth. Plymouth has smoke. It has a heal, um, and it's also got radar and hydro. It's pretty pretty much got all the consumables that you need to work in clan battles. At the low tiers, you could probably make it work. At the higher tiers, as soon as you get detected, you're going to be citadeled off the face of the earth by combined fire. So I, I, I just... I can't see it. Um, speaking of which, um, I have the new ship, the uh, Gibraltar. 
Uh, I don't know that Gibraltar's a good pick either. All right, we've got our giveaway going for subscriber camouflage. you got to be a follower to win and present. Exclamation point ticket gets you in. That's it. Henri, flanking cruiser. You can run it with a lighthouse build. So basically everything to damage, nothing to concealment. Does it matter? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that it's, uh, it's going to be meta. It'll be okay. In a similar vein, Smolensk. Um, it just doesn't have the range to be extremely helpful. I can't see Smolensk being a good pick. You can try it. And we've done this before in my clan crack, and we've run double Smolensks. Uh, but that was before the commander rework, so. You've got the camouflage for the Henri? So you're going to use it? Go for it. Petropavlovsk. Um is one of those ships where if you've got one, you're going to run it. And if you've got three of them on your team, you're going to run all three of them. This ship is most ridiculous cruiser out there right now, the tech tree at oh. least. And people can run a full Russian comp. <laughs> right, so so because of, because of the fact that you can't run more than one, I should back that up and say you're going to add this to a Moskva and you're going to add this to a Stalingrad, right? Yeah. And together... Yeah. All of them are going to work, you know. Uh, is the Kearsarge giveaway gone? No. And we are. And whoever wins this uh, is going to get to choose between a Benham and a Kearsarge. And frankly, if they want something else at uh, one of the other Tier 9s available, they can, but, you know. So Petro is going to be a cornerstone, I think, in just about every lineup out there. Um, so you're going to grab that. Napoli. We saw Napoli's working in King of the Sea in tandem together, smoking and secondarying things down. Because of the one ship rule, I don't see that really happening. Um, I think for everything else you have, I think a um, Venezia is far better than a Napoli. Uh, Des Moines, tried and true. You're always going to see a Des Moines in your lineup. So I'd say that's a very strong cruiser. Moskva, Stalingrad, Venezia. We've already talked about all of those. They're all strong ships. Um, Venezia on the flank, getting around places, slapping things with SAP. I mean, come on. It'll be good. <sighs> Yoshino, if you're playing a kiting cruiser, Yoshino's okay? Use Yoshino Black. <laughs> well, and now that's interesting because the article said that Yoshino huh. and Yoshino Black is applied, so you cannot have Yoshino and Yoshino Black. Interesting. Yep. Um, but still, you can have Yoshino being a kite away cruiser working in tandem with, say, a Zhao or a Venezia. I can see that work. She's got 20 kilometer torpedo range. Uh, I used to call them team killing torps, and then, of course, Wargaming took away team <laughs> damage. So they no longer exist like that. Um, so I think Yoshino working in tandem with the Zhao could be a pretty strong kite away flank ship uh, pair. Um, even then, if you just need one of them, they're okay. People are asking about Salem. I'd rather have a Des Moines than a Salem, but if you already have a Des Moines and you want to bring a Chibi Des Moines, then there you go. Salem is fine. It's got that uh, really short range T-Rex radar, uh, or you can run Hydro. Um, and because of the short range of the radar, Hydro might be worth considering. Um, it does have a super heal, which is kind of nice. Uh, other cruisers, Wooster, I just can't see it. Um, similarly to Austin, I think you just you, you give up too much in coordination just to get in position to do something. If you want to bring a Wooster, you might as well bring a Harugumo because you add smoke and um, you have similar firepower with the main guns. Um, Goliath is a very strong kite away cruiser as well. So a Goliath in tandem with the Zhao can work. A Goliath in tandem with the Yoshino can work. Um, and Nevsky... They do need spotting, though. Right. They do need spotting, which, is, which brings up our next ship. A Nevsky working a flank can also do really good, really good dangerous things. These 180mm guns are fantastic. Um, of course, it's got the heel. It's got radar. It's got... You're going to run Hydro because, you know, no carriers. Uh, so that's very handy. Uh, Minotaur. 
again, if you've got a prodigy with a Minotaur, you can run it with uh, with radar. You can make a Manitaur work. I don't think smoke is a good choice for clan battles because of how how much radar there is. You're going to want to be mobile. Um, long range backfield. We saw Minotaur spamming uh, battleships down from from a distance in King of the Sea. It can happen, but if you're going to do that, why don't you just play a Colbert? So, still, I don't think a Colbert is a good pick. So, my choices as best picks for clan battles for cruisers, Nevsky, Goliath, um, the Russian cruisers, <laughs> Des Moines. There you go. Well, Minotaur has Torps. That's true, Painzer, yes. Um, so you could, you could definitely, do, and it's got the super heal too. Um, so I don't know. I, I just don't see Minotaur being that effective early on. Sure. But later on down the line, when you've got concentrated radar and spot and all that, I, I'm not sure. What? No, Venezia. Oh, did I not mention Venezia? Venezia, definitely. Definitely Venezia as well. <laughs> Fatal. 40 million free XP. Yes. I, I am. My nickname is Smog. I hoard all the things. Do I have all tier 10 ships? Yes, I have all 10, tier 10 ships, except for um, Gibraltar. I have not I have not picked up the Gibraltar yet, which is for research points. So I might as well pick it up now. All right, Yacht Diego. Yes, I have all the, <laughs> I have all the tier 10 <laughs> cruisers. Um, and Gibraltar, I don't know that I would want to pick a Gibraltar. Um, all you bring is smoke and that's it. I just I just don't see it. So Yeah. Right, exactly. Too much Russian cruiser and double battleships. I, I just don't see Minotaur shining. Exactly right, Payne. She's a fun ship, she's a fine ship, and in the hands of somebody who considers themselves a, a prodigy in that ship, sure. I just I can't see that. Okay. Let's move on and let's talk about battleships. Now, in my opinion, for battleships, there's two roles that you are trying to fill with a battleship. One is a kiting, flanking ship, and the second is an in-your-face, bulldozer ship. So, let's talk about the kiting away on the flank ship first. That's going to be probably, it could be a, a conqueror, thunderer, could be. They kind of go with both of them. They can they can go for both. A Columbo might be an interesting pick for kiting away ship because it's got the uh, it's got the smoke. It might get them a, a chance to get into a position to do something really ridiculous. Um, Ohio and Montana are good for both tasks really uh, because of their speed. They're relatively good uh, hitting power. Ohio with the secondaries might make it better for the in your face kind of a ship. Incomparables in testing. We don't know if that's going to be out or not. Uh, Shikishima. I saw somebody say secondary Shikishima, and I just wanted to slap my forehead so hard. Um, you can do it, but the problem with the Shikishima and the and the Yamato, of course, is that hexagonal citadel, that cheek citadel right there. If you're getting a Shikishima in range to secondaries against something, I don't know. I, I just I just don't see it working. I mean, I'll, I'm sure I'm gonna get a replay with a secondary Shiki. Uh, to cover at some point, but <laughs> I just I just don't see it. Slava, the problem with Slava is you're you're going to use that on on the kite flank, and it's going to be used as a sniper. But uh, it it the armor scheme on it, it just it's just going to get penned too easily by ships that can pen 25 and 32 millimeter pen, um, and, and it's just going to get spammed to nothingness. So I don't see a Slava being very useful for either role, frankly. Uh, Republic, it, it, along with Burgonia, are probably my two picks for flanking battleships um, because of their speed, because of their, their penetration capability. We saw Burgonia being used in, um, in uh, King of the Sea to great effect. So I could totally see that. Uh, Repub, it's got these wonderful guns that will penetrate things, but just refuse to hit what you, what you aim at, at least for me. So I, I don't like that, but of course it's got Grimlock on it. So if you like Grimlock, I guess you could take it. Stop fiddling with my mask. <laughs> um, Vermont, as a kiting ship, lol, no. 
But let's talk now about in-your-face battleships. Vermont, I think, is a really good in-your-face battleship. Um, I don't see I don't see a problem with that at all. Uh, you can do it. It's got good guns. Uh, it's just very slow. So you're going to put it on the contest side, and you're going to slow push with it if you're going to run the Mon if you're going to run the Vermont. Like I said, uh, Ohio and Montana are really good for either role. Can I take my mask off at home? It's weird. Sorry, it's kind of stuck to me. Um, Ohio with its secondaries and its its faster heal uh, regen, it might make it better suited for being in your face on that flank. Um, but the ultimate in your face battleship, in my opinion, is Kremlin because of how difficult it is to kill it. You can also choose to run Kerfrist, and we talked about Schlieffen. Schlieffen is in the game for the people that uh, won the um, the Lighthouse auctions, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if, and we don't know, I, I would imagine that the German battleship line will be released for the next patch, so halfway through clan battles we might see Schlieffens appear. Even then, I just feel like in clan battles, especially in a concerted, um, you know, uh, well-designed pushes and stuff like that where things are choreographed, I don't, I don't see a Kerr first and a Schlieffen doing too well. I think they just give up too much to get into those positions. That being said, we did see a Kerr first in King of the Sea take the Middle Island on Warrior's Path and just sit there. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Um... Kremlin can be burned down. Well, yes, it just takes forever to burn it down. Um, now, in clan battles, if I remember right, talents do not work. So you do not get Kuznetsov's additional talent there. But, you know, auto drinking mask, right? Um, but, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's worth considering. Um, guys, do you have any other questions about any of the other ships? Uh, maybe there's a ship that you want me to talk through real quick. I, I can definitely do that. Shadow's exactly right. Just like other a lot of the other battleships. I honestly think the meta at, at clan battles is going to be Kremlin, Ohio. I think you're going to see each team bringing one of each, and that's it. I really hope I'm wrong, because I'd love to see more than just that. But, you know. You will. Why Ohio? Ohio because of the speed and the quick, re uh, quick, uh, regenerating heal. It's going to come in very handy. Um, the repair party, and then like I said, the secondaries are good for when it needs to get in. The guns are ridiculous with good pens too. Stalingrad still viable after the changes? Absolutely yes, and not because it's the Stalingrad, because it's a Russian cruiser. And with the ch with the changes again, you break Moskva, Stalingrad, Petropavlovsk. You now have three 12-kilometer radar cruisers. And while you're at it, why not bring a Nevsky? Schlieffen in the tech tree is, says you can get early access to in a combat mission, but you haven't seen one yet. Okay, Gaelic, thank you. Uh, Thunderer. So much like in Ohio, Thunderer's got the guns. The problem with the Thunder, in my opinion, is. Um, it's it's not one of so in clan battles generally speaking there's two ways that you win clan battles right way one is through points and just and just good board positioning way two is by getting kills and obviously not losing your own ships and to me the problem that i have with thunder she's great for getting kills um the not dying part I, i'd rather have a conqueror but i mean she's still pretty strong there i just feel like she lacks in board position um too much to the point where she's not able to to uh have as much of an impact as say an ohio so to me i would i would pick ohio over thunderer and that's the problem that i have with a lot of these battleships They're, a lot of them are good the only problem is there's almost always a ship that does better and i think that's that's the issue that i'm i'm seeing in my opinion but the rain, but the research bureau ships are paying to get. No, they're not, Yak Diego. You saw. I just bought a. I just bought a. You know, Gibraltar. No problem. Corgan loves his Ohio. Um. I f faster get two steel ships than one, than one research bureau ship. Well, all right. If you can't get an Ohio, uh, what could you get instead? Um. I mean. Just add Kremlin. Uh, 
I do have 40 million free XP. I play this game too damn much, you guys know that. Every day I get my dailies done, including today, and I've played this game for six freaking years. So, you know. I would just say this, if you are looking to, re to reset a ship for Research Bureau, keep in mind you do have the ability to reset one right now and get your double. However, you might be better off waiting for the next patch uh, to drop or not next patch, isn't it starting next week that we get the token, the, uh, the uh, first win bonuses, things, whatever, snowflakes? I think it is. I, I think know. it's next week. So I wait till you get check. those, wait till you get the snowflakes, use the snowflakes in that line, and then reset. So, like, I'm gonna reset my Haraguma line again, because why not? But I'm gonna wait until I get the, um, those things done for the, for the snowflakes. I think they're coming next week, Cranberry, I think so. I could have sworn it was in the patch no, uh, patch announcement. Should be. Let me see. Mm. I mean, you guys know there's so many freaking... Here. One week after 10.10 .10 goes live and will last until the end of 10.11. Correct. So that means next week, Wednesday or Thursday, yep. it'll go live. So wait until you get, you know, until that goes live. Do all of the ships in a line uh, in co-op that you want to reset, and then reset. 